Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey. We are a vegan, mostly whole food cooking channel. We do some product reviews. Sometimes there's some episodes with Tim. If you like what you hear so far, please hit that like button, show us some love, and please think about subscribing and becoming part of the Plant Based Ads family. We do have a Patreon page set up. Our patrons are our monthly financial supporters that help us put the show together and get that plant-based message out to the masses. If you've ever seen the show or been in the Facebook group and thought, how can I help? How can I be part of this? That's how you can help. You can become a financial supporter with Patreon or you can do a one-time uh, payment on uh, PayPal. There'll be a link in the description below this video to both PayPal and Patreon if you're interested in helping us out and joining the team. So today, January 24th, 2022, starts our first monthly Mary's Mini Challenge. We have these monthly challenges for Mary's Mini at the end of every month. They're right after the uh, 21 day starts challenge that we do every month. So it rolls kind of right into the mini. I'll put a graphic up on the screen here. Here's how the mini works. You pick a starch from the list of starches, and that's going to be potatoes, oats, uh, rice, uh, any of those, beans. And you're going to stick with that starch for every meal of every day of the mini. So from now and through February 2nd. You'll eat, you know, minimum three times a day or whenever you're hungry, right? And you're going to have basically a 50-50 plate that they do on the Maximum Weight Loss Program. On one side of your plate, you'll be your starch. On the other side of the plate will be your non-starchy uh, item. You want to have the same starch every day. So if you're choosing uh, white, red potatoes, whatever they are, russets, you're having those every day. You can mix those potatoes, but you're having those every day for every meal. If you pick sweet potatoes, then every meal, every day, your meal is based around sweet potatoes. You can mash them, you can eat them as a, a baker, whatever you want, right? You can uh, make fries out of them. Oh, it doesn't matter, but you're having sweet potatoes every day, every meal. Same. You are absolutely avoiding anything to do with flour and bread and pasta and anything refined. It's got to be food closest to its real form. You, I mean, you can cook it, you can have a baked potato, but you know you don't want tater tots out of the bag from uh, Costco that are loaded with oil and all that stuff. We're trying to avoid anything but the actual food. We're trying to eat as unprocessed as possible, and that's the whole idea of this. Oil is out because it's out on everything to do with the McDougal program. Um, sauces are fine, like ketchup and mustard but again you have to avoid oil in any of those you want to keep your sugar as low as possible in those items ketchup's not too bad but barbecue sauce is loaded with sugar so that's probably not something you want to put too much on you want to keep the meals as simple as possible as far as your non-starchy vegetables again simple non-starchy vegetables broccoli uh squash uh, just stuff like that Again, you don't want a recipe cook for the starches. You don't want any gourmet uh, ratatouille with your starch or anything like that. Just yeah, steam some broccoli, uh, you know, put some uh, Brussels sprouts on the air fryer and you know, put a little uh, balsamic uh, vinegar with as little sugar as possible. Um, you just want to throw some stuff together. Now, if you're in the Facebook group with us, then here's the Facebook group right here. You can see that on Facebook and, and find it. It's uh, Plant Based Dad Starch Solution Enthusiast. Um, you'll be uh, posting your photos, uh, sharing people on, and kind of staying accountable if you want to do this in the Facebook group with us. It's not required, but if you're one of the Mary's uh, mini uh, mafia in there that just loves to do the, this at the end of this month, and you guys know who you are, then uh, you know, you're going to be doing that just like you would with the challenge. Um, and it helps people get ideas of of what to eat and, and again it keeps you accountable. You can absolutely have fruit on the Mary's menu. So you can have one serving of fruit a day. So have an apple every day, have an orange every day. It's sumo orange season. Like I can't go one day during sumo orange season without having a sumo orange. They're absolutely delicious. Have a banana if that's what you want. Um, so servings of fruit are fine. If you're doing the starch solution, why might you want to do the Mary's menu? Well, you might not want to. If you're having luck on the starch solution, if you're losing a half a pound a week or you're happy with where you are, don't do the Mary's Mini. There's no reason to. But if you feel like you've stalled or you've plateaued or maybe you're eating all the wrong things in the starch solution, like uh, something, anything to do with cashews or avocado, and uh, you really need to kind of refocus, or if you're just making meals on the starch solution way more complicated than they should be, maybe it's time to refocus and do Mary's Mini for 10 days. Um, anything on Mary's Mini works well in the starch solution, but again, it just kind of gives you a, a retraining on how your meals should look, how simple they should be. I'll put a link to the Mary's Mini rules uh, in the description below this video that goes right to our blog, and there'll be a post about that that explains uh, you know, all the rest of the rules in case I've forgotten them here because I'm just talking to the camera and I've got nothing to read from. So Mary's Mini starts today through the 2nd of February. 
I hope you're joining us. Look forward to it. All right, so now let's go to Tim and get a garden update. Tim? Yeah, I thought I would um, give you a quick garden update. Um, we've got some blossoms coming on the lime tree, so I'm kind of excited about that. Okay, I think you saw in prior videos how small I planted the cabbage, and now look at the development. It takes up a lot of space. Um, I still haven't don't have anything to harvest, but we're getting there. Red leaf lettuce, it's there. It's coming along, but it's being definitely overpowered, overshadowed by the by the green cabbage here. Uh, I planted some rosemary. This is just something I got from Sprouts, and we didn't want to die. So as we need it, we use it, and it's pretty hardy, grows well, and again, so fragrant and so fresh when you cook with this. All right, coming back here, we've got this pepper plant, and this plant has been, I think we're at 11 months old right now, and it keeps producing fruit. So you can see there's some reds all along here, underneath here. They survive frost, that's just how hardy this plant is, so it keeps giving. I could have picked these when they were green as well, but we've been wanting a couple weeks now to, to show this to you, um, and it's, it's, it's doing its thing. So, well, again, my plan after this now is to fertilize this with some more compost and freshen it up. We're kind of past what I feel is the, the season for frost, so we can get some more growth going. Um, again, over on this side, another cabbage plant doing well. You can see the Swiss chard is coming back after Joey cut it for the bean soup. And then um, our red lettuce coming along as well. So getting excited, we know February's coming, another season of planting. Um, so if anything, this video is kind of fun to see development, but also to get you thinking about the coming growing season. What do you want to plant, consume, give away? All right, enjoy. Thanks, Tim. Hang on to that rosemary. We're going to need it because today I've got a Mary's mini recipe for you. It's crispy air fryer rosemary potatoes. You know, this, I love potatoes. I'll eat them plain with nothing on them. But I absolutely love the texture of air fried potatoes. A little crispiness they get on the skin. Uh, absolutely delicious. So, I, you know, this is not a recipe. I just threw this together, but I am giving you the recipe so you can do it too. Make it your own. If you want to add something else on it, that's fine. I just like them to be simple and plain and seasoned. And the rosemary right out of our garden for this was just amazing. It really gave it a personal touch because it came right out of the garden. So that was pretty exciting. All right. I put all this together for you. You're absolutely going to love it. It's really simple and you're not going to need a lot of crazy ingredients. Let's get to the food. I'm starting here with about two cups of golden potatoes. I think that little one looks like a heart right there. How funny. So I'm gonna use my Dahlstrong mini Santuco knife here. There's a link right below this video on where you can purchase your own Dahlstrong knife. And you can see here, we're just slicing them in half both ways. Now, depending on the size of each one of these potatoes, you may need to slice a second time, which we're doing here. Or if you've got baby potatoes, maybe you're just slicing them in half. Either way, you just want them to be bite-sized. Now we've got some of that beautiful rosemary from the garden. It just smells amazing. You can see Tim just strips it right off in one shot. And now Tim's gonna grab the knife and it's time to start dicing. The rosemary is very fragrant, so less is more. Now Tim's grabbing all the potatoes here and he's putting them into a nice bowl. And he's gonna use uh, some hot water in the tea kettle and he's gonna pour it all over these potatoes and gives them some time to soak. The water helps to remove the starch and it also makes them uh, crispier when you air fry them. We're gonna let those soak for about 15 minutes. Now it's time to go to the sink and we're gonna drain these. All right, they were over at the sink drying for about five minutes. Now I'm just gonna dump them right into this bowl. Then I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of veggie broth to give the spices something to stick to. And now we're mixing all that up so every potato is coated. And it's time to add our spices. Here we have a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. You can add less or more, it's up to you. Next, we're putting in our beautiful rosemary from the garden. We're gonna sprinkle that in. Again, less is more on this. And now we've got about a teaspoon of garlic powder we're gonna sprinkle on top here. Now Tim is mixing all this up to make sure it all gets coated. You can see the spices are sticking right to the potatoes. Now we've got the air fryer tray out and Tim's just gonna dump these right into the air fryer tray here. We are gonna add just a little bit of salt sprinkled on top. This step is optional, it's up to you. We're not really trying to avoid salt. We're just trying not to overdo it. Next, it's time to put them in a preheated air fryer at 400 degrees. Make sure there's plenty of space. You don't wanna crowd the potatoes. And we're gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're gonna take out the tray and just shake it up a little bit here to get them moving around. 
so they uh, all cook evenly even though it's convection and it's moving around anyway that's what we're doing and we're gonna reset the timer for another 10 minutes and let it cook after 10 minutes we took them out and you can see they're charred and crispy they look great Tim's gonna try one here and make sure it's cooked all the way through and they are ready to go we're scooping them all up here to get them into a bowl so we can start serving them and now we're just gonna take some of that garden rosemary that we haven't diced up yet and just lay it on top for garnish and here you have it folks a beautiful bowl of crispy air fryer rosemary potatoes doesn't that look amazing i can't wait to dig in i love the texture of anything in the air fryer all right that's our video for today please hit that like button show us some love what's not to like don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Monday. And please leave a comment below. Are you doing the Mary's Mini with us? Are you doing a potato mini? Are you doing a rice mini? What have you decided on? All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>